That's right, people, this is not a drill. That's right, finally, after all of this waiting, PS5 is going to enable the software update, which, among many, 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 many things, enables access to M2 SSD storage expansions. So if you're someone that's been following my channel or many, many other channels that have been talking about SSD upgrade recently, a lot of you have been kind of annoyed how hard it's been to get hold of the beta. Well, the time is over. The testing is over. And it looks like tomorrow, that is the 15th of September 2021, globally, this update's going to be live. Now, the i got to say, fair play to the people on YouTube there. A lot of you subscribers, I didn't even know this was a thing. I got an email update uh, around about ooh, 40 minutes ago, and I hadn't even checked my emails. And it wasn't until I uploaded this video on the Sabren $20 uh, PS5 optimized heatsink that a number of you in the comments just now told me that about this update. So again, fair play to all of you right now. You guys knew before I did, and I think it was only fair that you guys get the props you deserve. But this update, there is slightly shaky news, I've got to say, even though all of that compatibility is all confirmed on there. I've got to say, there isn't, there still isn't an official compatibility list. I don't know if you guys have been following my other videos, but we were going through this uh, along with a bunch of Reddit users, and we're slowly making our way through compatible SSDs and performance benchmarks for SSDs. That's kind of a big reason for all of the SSDs that I've been working on all this time, where we've been going through trying to figure out what are the best SSDs that work. It isn't just me, there's a big bunch of us going through these. So again, it's still kind of weird that if you head over to the PlayStation's official website, that they still don't really highlight any kind of compatibility list. They do make a point of still sticking to their recommended minimums. Uh, and again, after the update is live, I will be bench testing a few SSDs like the Rocket um, PCIe 4, Silicon Power US 70, Sabrent Q4, uh, the uh, Seagate um, Fiocuda 520 SSDs that are under 5,500 that we've tested previously. But nonetheless, this update is coming tomorrow. Uh, going live so do make sure your auto updates are on or check now again incredibly self-referential self-plugging here i have of course still got all of my articles out there at the moment where i talk about uh, the ssds we've tested the ones that work the ones that work but i wouldn't recommend and the ssds that didn't work alongside that there is of course heat sinks that i've recommended and I think it's no secret that heat sinks at the moment are increasingly hard to come by, uh, particularly the good ones. There has been a second wave of them, but there definitely has been a lot of people who have been waiting for this update, who, although they may not have gone out and rushed out and bought SSDs, they have gone out and bought heat sinks because they're, what, $5, 10 $20 or whatever. But again, this article should be linked in the description where it has been updated regularly with SSDs that work, whether they need heat sinks, and which ones have got heat sinks that don't fit. Now, again, last thing, we will be testing even more SSDs coming soon. There's a big backlog of tests that we've done, but we will be revisiting this firmware in the next 48 hours, testing some of the lower grade SSDs to see if the full uh, firmware release has now blocked these or not. So do stay tuned for that. And once again, fair play to you guys down here who let me know about this. And of course, everyone else. Let's get on it, update our PS5s, and start getting some real storage and not just middling around with the painful amount we've had by default. I look forward to you guys getting this tomorrow. Let me know if you've installed it, how well it works for you, which SSD you went for in the comments, and of course, click like to learn more, subscribe um, You know, as these videos come out. Sorry, click like to let me know you enjoyed this video. I know it's a bit rambly, sorry about that. I'm between other projects, as you can tell. And finally, Remember, if you are coming to this for the first time, there will be links to these articles and this content in the description, which will guide you through how and what are uh, the best SSDs and heat sinks for each budget, each need, based on speed, based on endurance, based on value. They're all broken down in those guides, so check those out. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.